Pretty man. There we go. <laughs> now, did that come off of Brian's bait? That's on Brian's bait right there. All right, man. That's we, a flat we're, bait right there. We're going to have to talk about Brian's baits. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Them just long enough. Look at that. Let's talk about Brian's baits, my friend. Okay. I'll tell you what, you, you get the bait ready, and I'll be the fish man. But that, right. hold that up for the camera. I'll tell you what, nice, what, two, two and a half pound large bass? Yeah, at least two. Yeah. Good keeper. Look at that. Well, I'll tell you Hang what. Hang on to him, man. You let get me ready. Get yeah, let's, let me put him back in the water. And then let's talk about Brian's baits. Over this uh, tree work in the background, all right, that fish is gone for the next one. Talk to us about Brian's baits. I'll tell you what, folks, now you need to pay attention to this. His young son, Brian. He ain't young, he's 30. Well, but he, he thinks he's young. <laughs> yeah, he thinks he is. That's right. This is a great, great bait, and we've been using it today uh, with some good success. Tell us about the bait and how he puts it together. Well, he, he uh, has a guy, a friend of mine, that I, I fished tournaments with for about eight years, Bill's a bait real similar to this, and they he cut his own, drew his pattern, cut it out, and he's tutored him into how to cut it out. And uh, now Brian's cutting his own baits out of uh, the basswood, basswood, right? And uses a fiber bill. It's called a computer bill. Makes it have a really good wobble, and we put number uh, four hooks on it. Eyes. I mean, he takes and puts a little scale design on it, and. And you've got a little bit of a gray with a chartreuse body gray on it. chartreuse, yeah, yeah similar to me, what they call in a sexy shed color now. Let me see if I can bend down here and get this other one because I want the folks to see it out there because then after we get done looking at both colors of these things, then you yep. can you can tell folks that um, they, they've really got it down to a We have a lot of other colors. I got a few more colors down there, mm -hmm. but uh, this is more for the shad, the silver shad. And this is like a sexy shad or whatever you want to call it. It's just a really good, good bait. They run real good. Got a good wobble to them, and you know, he's still experimenting. But well, with that, let's get him back in the water. Let's do it, huh? All right, folks. That's our show this week from Lake Oconee, Georgia. You're not far from the destination of Atlanta, or not far from Augusta, just up I-20. It's a great place to come. I'd like to thank Phil Osborne for putting us on some fish today. It was a great opportunity to learn something new. Hey, the shaky, you bet. We were shaking and moving with that and his son Brian's baits. Those are two great combinations. I know if you'd like to get some, call, and I tell you what, they'll put them in the mail to you, I know. Well, our destination next week, you never know where we're gonna end up, but as we always like to say each and every week, the outdoors are our passion. We know it'll be yours too. We'll see you next time. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine, brought to you in part by the following sponsors. Sportsman's Gold, CVA Muzzle Loaders, Club Car, Browning, Pepsi Bottling Group, Purina Pet Foods, Marshalls Marine, Moultrie Feeders, Winchester. Closed captioning of Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is brought to you by Santee Cooper Country. For more recipes, sponsor information, or advertising opportunities, visit our website at vroutdoormagazine.com today.